Um, ladies and gents, this improv story. Man receives an anonymous letter. Let the story commence. There's a guy called Craig. And he went to... Um, he's trying to get away from it all. So he got this... Uh, he went on the Airbnb. Regardless if you think it's ethical or not. That's what he did, all right? Get at it. Right? He needed to get somewhere and that was that, right? If you've got a better fucking idea, you tell him. He needed a wee fucking, he wanted a wee house for just two weeks in the middle of nowhere, alright? And it's just the easiest, what's wrong with Airbnb? Uh, Ed, uh, why is it Airbnb? Un Ed, just like in Edinburgh, um, it's everywhere. Anyway, is Airbnb un unethical? Suppose no, it's maybe... I suppose they themselves, that itself, isn't he? It's just maybe some of the results. I don't know. Anyway, anyway, let's just get on with it. So, um, here's the Airbnb and um, uh, got a wee house for a couple of weeks right up north. Right, Forget that I said that, everybody. Right up north in, in Scotland in a kind of wee, like, you know, if you're going, uh, if you're on a train or something like that, and there's like tons and tons of fields and hills and there's a wee house up there in the trees and you might go, oh, the house stays there. Right, it was like that. That's where he went. So he moved out there for just two weeks. Didn't move there, he just went there just to get away from it all. And he stayed there one night, then another. There was a wee shop nearby, he had a motor with him. He drove, went to a wee shop, they had some stuff, that was it. Came back. When he came back, there was a letter. A letter had been put through the the letterbox, but it didn't have an address on it or a post, uh, a stamp. It was, it was addressed to you he's like what's that he's like is this for the person who owns the place is this for the person who owns the place or is this actually for me is this from the person who owns the place or would I not just say my name like hey um, so he left it for a few hours just kind of looking at it and Sort of looking through it. Um, he thought, my curiosity's got the better of me. I'm going to have a look. Sorry, my eyes are a wee bit nippy because I didn't get a lot of sleep. <laughs> he, um, fucking fluff everywhere. Imaginary fluff. He, he gave it a couple of hours and went, right, the curiosity's got the better of me. And he decided to open it and he thought, if it isn't for me, then I'll just use the excuse. Well, it said for you. And it came in when, while I was away, you know, I just thought it was for me. I thought it was actually for you. He would say to the person who owned the, the property. So he opened it and it said, I'm going to kill you tonight. And it was written, was they written in all mad writing? It wasn't like written like that. Yeah. It wasn't written with bits of cut out, so cuts of fucking uh, newspaper, written in blood. It wasn't even written in caps. Actually, quite nice writing. I'm going to kill you tonight. In fact, see the, see the eye of tonight. Had the, the, the dot was a, a heart. You love heart. So he's like, what's this? And he smelled it and it actually smelled nice. Like a perfume. Smelled the perfume, it was nice. 
Um, he thought, is this, it almost looked like a, like a Valentine's thing, like a kind of, like, you know, you know when people go like, oh, you killed it. Like with some fucking addition in X Factor or something, or you killed it, or thing he was on some pro fucking Graham Norton or something. They killed it. They slayed it. You know that shit. Um, maybe it was a Valentine's for somebody. The, 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 there was a there's a mix up, and I'm gonna kill you tonight. Meaning I'm go, I'm gonna do good things to you tonight. Oh my God, you're killing me with 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 all this sexiness. Like that. He thought here. I wonder what this is. So. He thought right. I better get ready. So he thought right. I'm going to take all my clothes off. So he took all his clothes off. And lay down in bed. And um, he thought right. I'll put the lights off. He thought no no no. Keep the lights on. No no no. Put lights off, but have a wee candle. Have a candle there, right? So he's lying there, um, naked. And he thought, oh, I wonder if it's like a, like a sexy witch. Or something. We'll see. Sexy witch that lives in a cave. He thought, do that, that, that'd be good. And then maybe go back to the city where curse, some sort of sexual curse. Like, I mean, in exchange, she, she, she gave him a curse. No, I don't mean that, a fucking, no, I don't mean that. I mean, um, like an actual magical curse. Magic, like magic, I mean. Actual magic. So he's lying in bed and he heard this. And he went, at the front door, and he went, come in. And then he heard, click. And then the, the door getting locked. And and then he so he kept his eyes shut, right? And then he heard the footsteps. And then he heard the person, whoever it was, next to him. And then he felt he felt something something was getting there's something happening, a movement, something getting taken from somewhere and moved, and then suddenly, what felt like a hot, sharp pain, on his, uh, his belly, and, elsewhere, and he was ready to go, Ooh! but he thought, oh, it's, it's the candle wax, it's the candle wax. Taking the candle and dripping the the the, the hot wax, like that kind of eye se sexy pain sort of thing. Sexy pain. And he was like, "Oh, <laughs> you opened his eyes, and there was this." Uh, big guy with a beard and the beard was like all kind of um, matted with, with blood and shite and he looked down and instead it being wax it was actually he'd been stabbed and then the guy The guy just was expressionless. And Craig went like, oh, and went to get up. 
And as he went to get up, the guy must have done this before, but he just put out his knife like that, you know, he held it like in midair. And Craig just went like that, bang, right fucking into it. Right through his nose. He had a knife, just, it just went right right up to the hilt. Right through there. There. Bang. Right in. And he was like that. Because you'd be like that. You don't know what to do. It's not went into your brain. It's not went into your eye. But you... You're just looking at it. You see it like there. You see the handle there like that. Like that. You'd be like Oliver Hardy. Like that. Craig went to then pull it out, but the guy went like that and grabbed Craig by the hair, right? And it went like that. Bang, punched the, the knife down, the handle down, and the blade did go up and slice through the brain. Craig hit the deck. His legs were like that on the ground. And then uh, the the guy with the beard just sort of crouched down next to him, start started stab, stabbing into him. The guy cut Craig's head off. <laughs> I got a pot out the cupboards and boiled his head to cut his brain and ate it like it was haggis. Mixed it with some pepper. And then, what I think is a bit out of order, you may think it's surprising, but in context, I think this is actually out of order. He ta started kicking fuck at her, Craig. The guy's deed for fuck's sake. He started kicking fuck at him. There's no need. The end. He, he didn't shrink 10.30. And that's a true story. That's a true story. I'm sorry if the story just ends, but it's a true story. That's called, it's called Slice of Life. It's a storytelling um, style. It's called Slice of Life. <laughs> Slice of Knife. How do I know it was true? I'm pals of the person... Um, who rented uh, that 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 we bothy bothy, uh, um, and they said to me, they told me, they said, you know the we you know the the wee thing that we thing that I sort of did up and you know I was just sitting there doing nothing and just and that didn't even have a roof. The place didn't even have a roof, and I went. I, I go past that in the train all the time and I look up and I just see that and I thought that'd be, that'd be fucking nice but you can see it's like a wreck. I wonder if it's for sale. How much it cost? Two grand. Just to buy it. Tiny wee bit of land though. Didn't own it all the land. Put a roof on it. Got the old place done up. Magic. So they had to, um, they were the first one to discover it. They discovered the, the scene and got in touch with the police. The, got in touch with the local policeman. And I said, that must be awful. And my pal said, I kept the heat. I said, how do you know what happened? They said, because I've got cameras about the place. They must have known I've read instructions. I've always got cameras. You know, I've got that that nest thing. Quite visible. Very visible. It's got a wee red light and everything. And in the instructions, you know, the kind of welcome to the, the my Airbnb flat house thing. It says, no, I've got uh, cameras in here for security purposes. Here's how to switch them off. Remember to switch them on again when you leave. Quite clear, it's got a red light to tell you. Red light, very visible red light. To go, you, are, you know, you are being filmed. 
Craig Denny put them off. So the whole lot was filmed. But they deleted it. Got an S2, but it's fucking protected. You what? I don't know, I don't know about that. Stephen, thanks for the sub. You don't have much joy with melatonin. Didn't get it, didn't go around to getting it. It's fine, I don't need it. I just fell asleep during the daytime yesterday. Yam, thanks for three quid. Let me have depression, you always make me laugh. Is there any advice you have to keep going on through the, the hard days? Um, I can only speak for myself. Um, I don't know. I don't have. I don't have that prolonged, serious fucking depression. I just have these sort of dips and all that now, now and again. Um, one thing. One thing that I found helps me psychologically is, is um. Is uh, if there's something I don't like, I set myself a fucking hate this. Bottling something up, I really don't like it. Set myself, this is fucking shit, I fucking hate it. Cheers, mate. 